Welcome back to part two of my currency slash economic series or economy series for your Discord bot. Today we'll be creating two very simple commands. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, here I am in my Visual Studio code. And in the last video, what we did is we just basically coded this. And also one of the users, they pointed out a little mistake that I did. Over here, I forgot I for a parenthesis, so sorry about that. You can add that right there. And then, now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating another function. And this is going to be our update wallet. So we're just going to do async dev update wallet. And then we're going to pass in user and amount. And make sure amount is an int. There we go. And then we can do something like await. Oh, or async with bot.db.cursor and then we're just gonna do await cursor.execute and we're gonna grab wallet right so we're just gonna select wallet from bank where user equals question mark and then we're also gonna do just pass in user id or user.id and now that we have that what we want to do is we can actually save this as a variable called data so i'm just going to literally just copy and paste that in there and then we're going to do basically what we did right here we're going to check if data equals one and if it doesn't we're going to create the uh, balance but this time we're just going to return zero instead of anything else and then we can do await cursor.execute and we're going to actually update the ball wallet right so we can do something like update bank set wallet equals question mark where user equals question mark and then pass in we don't actually need data dot zero actually we do sorry about that yeah but basically what this would do is it will get wallet right so data dot zero which is going to be the wallet plus amount so we'll add them both together and we'll put that in and it'll store it as a wallet and so that's it right all we have to do after that is await bot.db.commit. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Now that we have that, we're going to actually create a balance command just to check how much balance we actually have. And so just to do that, we're going to do bot.command and do async def balance. And then we're going to pass in two variables or I guess arguments, which is going to be ctx and member member is gonna equal next court dot member which is equal none so you should have something that looks like this right now and then we can do if not member so if member isn't defined then we can do member equals ctx dot author and then we can do we can actually run this command here to grab our balance so the way we're going to do that is Literally what we did here, wallet bank, max bank, bank right there equals away, get balance, and then pass in member. Now that we have those three variables, we can create an embed to put them all in. So I'm going to do something like em equals max cord dot embed. And that's going to have a title of, we're going to f string this. So we can have member dot name. Balance. and over here then we can add two more i guess fields so the first one's going to be wallet which is just going to contain the wallet and then the second one is going to be the bank right so how much however much is in the bank and for the value we're actually going to make this an f string once more and you'll see why so we'll keep one variable such as bank and then we'll do a slash max bank so we know how much of the bank is actually used up at the moment and then we can do await ctx.send and we're just gonna send the embed like so and that's basically it so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click this little button here to run it and we're gonna hop into discord and we're actually gonna test it out Okay, so here I am in my Discord. I'll link down below in the description. Please join, it really helps us out. And basically, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do help. 
just to make sure the bot is up and you'll see that we have our balance command so i can do balance and it'll give me my balance right so it'll be i have nothing in my wallet and 100 coins and 500 coins out of i uh, 100 out of 500 coins in my bank i can do someone like balance and uh let's say i don't know carbot and basically carbot doesn't have um actual an account yet so it'll open one up and there we go we can see carbot's balance and this is all of the default values and that's basically it that's how you can make a balance command and a bit more in for our currency bot stay tuned for tomorrow because i am doing daily uploads once again for the next one till next time glow scout see ya